Hello Kings, Queens, Nights, and Geeks, Parnamonk here, and me and Aurora have decided to talk about some guy that was in the comments of both my channel and the Dog Hater Girls channel, the uh, the Truth About Dogs channel. Um, he kind of gave gave himself attention real quick from both us and the commenters, um, mostly because of what he was saying. Uh, it's Now, I'm going to make a disclaimer here, I have nothing against Christianity. Right now. Or any religion, any form of religion. It's just the way he presents himself that makes me skeptical about things. The way he... Wait, strike that. The, what he's talking about is just what drove me, what kind of the things that drove me away from Christianity. And I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. So, you guys know, this guy, Ben Weber, is an extreme Christian. A very extreme, extreme Christian. And... Even a conspiracy theorist, we can, uh, we'll, we'll get to the conspiracy part later. So. <laughs> oh no, Derek, he's not a conspiracy theorist. Conspiracy theory was invented by the CIA, which was also invented by Nazis, apparently. I'm not joking, he literally thinks that. You... And he thinks it's the truth, and, and keeps promoting it as the truth. And uh, he's one of those people who send video links rather than articles for his proof. Uh, but, uh, anyway, um, we're gonna start with this video, that was 56 seconds long. I'm gonna start with this. He's got a few videos, and I'm not joking, one of them's called The Vatican is Satanism. Which he doesn't understand, um, what, how, what kind of Satanist I am. He seems to assume what kind of Satanist I am. Um, so, okay, let's start it off. He says, why do you believe that there, er, there is a truth to a... Why Many do not... Do not there, let me read. Uh, Your yeah. stuttering is too bad. <laughs> okay. Many do not believe there is a, tr a truth to our lives. Many abide in darkness and do not under understand nor care that there is more awaiting those who seek the truth. Um, there's nothing waiting for anybody who seeks anything. That's... Uh, let's continue. This first part is... Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna because it's mostly it's not really a video per se. It's, it's mostly a slideshow. So also, may we add, this isn't necessarily the truth. It's what you perceive as the truth, but that doesn't truth make it is based real. on the eye of the beholder. Like I could say, I could believe the flying spaghetti monster exists, but doesn't make it true. I can believe. Basically, this is more. Your opinion, not truth. Yeah. Truth requires evidence. Okay, here we go. Many will never get to know what it's like to find salvation. It's just something they will never get to know because their heart hearts are heart hardened, and they have, and their mind have shut. Okay, let's define salvation, shall we? Salvation defined. The only salvation I've ever found was a skillet song. <laughs> okay, salvation. Okay, here it is, right here. Salvation. The preservation of de deliverance or, from harm, ruin, or loss. Um, deliverance from sin and its consequences, believing, believed by Christians to be brought by faith in Christ. In Christ. Remember, this is put under the term theology. This is the actual definition of it. No, like, there's even more, like, there's transition, word origin, de more definitions here. Let's click that. Oh, there's none more. Oh, wait. There, it's a Latin word. Old French and Greek. Middle English, Old French, uh, okay, I'm not gonna go on to that. And, yeah, so, this word has more to do with fucking Christianity. Oh, and look, here it says, a source of means of being saved from harm or loss. Uh, means, doesn't necessarily mean a god said I was going to be saved. It could say a person can give me salvation. Yeah, that means a person can save you. An animal can save you. Yeah, like... A story can sa Anything can save you. It doesn't necessarily mean god. Like, say, America lets in some refugees, we give them salvation, as in a safe place to be from 
loss, harm, or anything like that. You give him the place of salvation. And you're probably going to twist my words talking about a church, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about a safe place to be. Now, let's go back to this video. Um, now, as for... Hold on here. Um, can't see. And what makes you say my heart is hardened and my mind is They shot? always assume that if you do not think like them, that that means that you are 100%. An awful person. You're nothing but an awful person. That's what Christian. They, that's not. Now, see, see, I can see that belief from a Christian because in the Bible I have read that even Jesus Himself said, said that we we the worst sinners for not believing. But it's ridiculous. We don't think the same way about them. We don't think they're bad people. Look, I have a lot of. I have a few Christian friends. My friend Boz, for example, I've given. I even had this nice conversation with a guy who wanted to be a priest, and he didn't judge me the way you judged us. Yeah. In fact, as I've stated before, and you said I was quoting something, I was reading a scripture, it wasn't off of a scripture. You kind of That's just not speaking where, your mind. Yeah, I was just speaking my mind, and this is what I said. You know, you shouldn't be judging us because you, you're you a religious person, so you shouldn't be judging us. It's your God's job to judge us, not yours. Which is true. Your, your Bible says that. Your God is the judge. In fact, even your Bible says not to play false witness, meaning you're not supposed to lie or... Or even judge based on on what you view. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Yes. And their hold on, wait. And their minds have shut. Our minds are not closed. Our minds are actually more open than yeah. yours and what you think we no, are. Nothing here. Because. This. We're actually more open to other reasonings behind things. We're no, open to other explanations. No, there's this. If we give him proof, we might believe in a God. It doesn't mean we'll actually go to your religion, but we would believe more if we did, knew him. If there was, like, if I actually saw, like, a God in front of me, then... And they there was proof that they were a God, then, yeah, I may believe. But there's no actual proof. Now, Ben Weber, you need to understand that not everyone, everyone doesn't believe the same thing as you. What about Muslims? Now, now he says that he understands that and everything, yet he keeps continuing the exact same thing. Like, he's like a broken record, just repeating the same stuff over and over and over. Now, remember, guys, we're talking about the comments, because, which we will get eventually. Um, but, um, what he's... The point is, our minds are not shut. We are open to suggestion. Does it mean in the, and there? But here's this: we need evidence before we will take anything in, into question. Our minds, your mind, actually, to us, seems to be more shut because all of your reason just falls onto a book. It falls onto a belief. Which that's where really, all your reasonings come from. Which was really, And that's the only thing you think of. You don't think of any other explanations. You don't think of any other reasons behind things. You just think in your belief. See, now here, for my dad example, he's a Mormon. Not a Mormon. Uh, Meth he's, a, he's a Methodist. Yes. See, um, he believes, but he also, but in his own version of way, he believes science and Christianity can coincide. For example, he thinks... If there is a god, he thinks he created the apes to do evolution. Hmm. But yeah, you say our minds are shut, but we're actually more open into learning about different things. We are more open into finding different reasons. We are more open to learning and discussing things. It's you who does not want to learn and discuss things. You think everyone is wrong. Because they don't believe in the same thing you do. Hmm. No, here's this. Uh, when I read the Bible, it was I, I read everything within detail. Some of the parts were just mostly repeated, mostly because the old, the old, te the New Testament ended up becoming like a bunch of repeated things and spoken spoken in different point of views. 
And, um, of course, there's the Old Testament. But you need to understand that God did not write that book. It was a bunch of people who wrote the book. Hence, the, hence the Old New Testament even says names of people who wrote the book, wrote certain books in it. And just because a man wrote it doesn't make it true. That's like reading all, fi that's like saying all fiction books or would make, make them true at that concept. Like Percy Jackson Olympian, there could be a boy running around New York who's the son of Poseidon killing off monsters that we can't see because we are not demigods. That's kind of the same logic you're giving us. Actually, you never really stated anything like that, but now I think about it. What am I talking about? I'm going off topic. Let's go on with the video. So, so I say to you, disbeliever, who was it that shows how your face looks? Uh, our DNA? Oh, yeah. We brought up, he brought up this whole thing. So you say, say to you, disbeliever, who, who was it that chose your facial looks? It wasn't a who. It was a what. It was It's DNA. called genetics. Our DNA makes up. You inherit your features from your parents and your grandparents and so on and so forth. You inherit from your ancestors. You don't, in someone doesn't choose what you look like. If and that was the case, and if your God's real, then why is he giving people like cleft palate, like cuff palate lip and stuff like that? Why is he making people severely cross-eyed to the point where they can't see? Or Why is he giving people physical deformities? Because here's if this. He chooses what they look. Because here's this. We are not perfect beings as some Christians believe. We're not. We're not. We're made imperfectly. We're not perfect. Some of us are asymmetrical. Our, if we were have perfect bodies, we would have better, we have top of, we would be act, Better, more, um, we have to be higher on the food chain because there's a ton of animals that can fucking kill us. Pretty easily. If we were perfect beings, then why were we made to be so vulnerable to illness and to the weather and stuff like that? That makes no sense. And they, then they said, do your parents choose how you were to look? Well, technically, kind of, yes. Through genetics. They, kind of chose to be with each other, so they kind of chose whatever outcome you were going to have. Which was and a, also... Which was a one-quarter chance of different possibilities. Yeah. And also, you can actually genetically change an embryo. I don't know for sure if it's... If you can change how their appearance will be, but I definitely know for sure that you can change the genes of an individual... So then they can better fight off certain diseases and things like that and have a less chance of like having some form of deformity and things like that. It's it's really amazing so, how far we've gotten with science. Yeah, or even choose when you were born. We are able to choose when we are induced. And then he says, yeah, when or when you were, were to be born. Well, my parents didn't get to choose. I chose. I decided to be early. Me, I don't really know. I never asked. And we don't want to... And here's the thing. You don't understand there's this thing called inducing a woman's labor in order to save the unborn child's life because a baby cannot live in the womb for too long. One, because there's not enough room. Two, the placenta, once it reaches a certain point, will slowly begin to deteriorate. Yeah. And it would kill the baby. Well, anyway... But no. there is such thing as you can choose when you are born, because many people get induced on certain days, like on someone's birthday, if they're far enough that it would be safe for the baby, they choose to do it, or they can be induced because they're tired of being pregnant, or if they've been pregnant for too long. Now, here's this. This one says, who was it that chose to give you life? Our parents. Your parents, when they decided to have intercourse. They chose it's called, the risk to make it's another called life. Breeding. It's called breeding. It's called mating. It's all what all animals do. Yes, so they chose to give us life. God doesn't just magically implant another human being into a person. Well, they logic, believe in Mary, but... That, that logic that we are all Virgin Mary and we're all Jesus. Yeah, in Christ. that case, then... 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Just as you pointed out. And he no. said, okay, let's move on. Okay, and the very thing that you barely care for, the things that you do not even see as a miracle. It's not really a miracle, to be honest. Okay, here's the thing. We do see life as a miracle. But it's not the same way as you think of it as being a miracle. We think of it as a miracle because out of the millions of semen that enter your mother's womb during conception, you were the lucky one to live. And I believe it's like around 90% of the semen actually dies as soon as it reaches the air and goes into your mother because it's extremely vulnerable. It ends up dying. And I hope you know that oxygen is a bit acidic. Yes. Sperm is extremely delicate. So it is a miracle in the sense of, out of millions, a unique individual was made. That hasn't been like any other human that's ever walked the earth. That's how we view it as a miracle. It's not the same way as you view it, because you think God magically makes babies. God don't make babies. People make babies. <laughs> I pity your misunderstanding. And also, by the way, if you want to know why where our evidence is, we learned this shit in science class a while back. Uh, I'd show you all of my biology journals and stuff like that from studying all of this and my anatomy journals from, again, studying this because I took college course type classes in high school that explained all of this to me. Oh, and I even took childhood development classes as well. And I, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> anyway. Hey, quit spacing out. <laughs> okay, I, I pity One your misunderstanding. Now this attention. line really got to me. I pity your misunderstanding. We don't un misunderstand. We understand perfectly what you're saying. It just, we don't believe the same things. We do understand everything that you're saying. It's just we have a different view on what you're saying. It seems to be you who doesn't understand our point of view of things. But we completely understand what you're getting. We completely understand what you're getting at. And we understand your point of view. It's just you don't understand our point of view. And you don't understand that we share a different point of view than you. Yeah. That's it. And here, here's the here's another one. Uh, for you are not are a lost lamb detached from the herd. Um, I can see I have detached a bit from my family because they are Christians and I'm not. But you haven't really detached from your family. You still talk to them. And yeah, stuff quite like often. That. I love my dad regardless, and he loves me even though I don't believe in God. So, and he accepts the fact. He does want me to believe in God, but he doesn't force it on me. And here's another thing. You seem to think that we're lost. You're the one who who thinks that we need to be rescued and saved and all that kind of stuff and thinks that, oh, poor us. We're so confused, so lost and stuff like that. But you don't understand that we don't feel lost. We feel completely fine with our lives. We don't need saving we live completely happy and normal lives without a God. And we feel as if we don't need a God to dictate our happiness. And we don't need a God to make us happy. We don't need that. That's what you seem to not understand. Uh, however, you are seeing your atheist mind that there is simply more to life than Oh, there hold on, hold on. Have. And also, we don't think you're lost either because you're religious or anything. You're living your life however you want to, and we can't control how you're living your life. We and that's something that we don't want to do. And that's something also you don't seem to understand is we just want to live our own lives. Live it however you see fit as long as you're not hurting anyone or yourself. And also, at that statement, I should apologize if I do seem like I wanted to control your religion. Yeah, right? no, you can completely believe in whatever you want to believe. It's your opinion on life. It's how you want to live your life. And you live your life however you see fit and however you feel it will fulfill it. Yeah, again, I will apologize if I seem like I'm trying to control your religion. But I'm not trying to control your religion. I'm just not going to believe in the same thing as you. 
the thing is, is that we just don't want you to try and force yourself to control our lives. Because we don't see that as something being right. Because we would not, in a while, in our wildest dreams, want to control your life. We don't want to dictate the, your existence and stuff like that. We just want to live however we want and be happy. And we want the same for you. If that means being religious makes you happy, then be religious. But don't try and force us to live a life that you want us to live. Yeah, it's, it's called human rights here. So, um, there are more, let's see, something more to life than you currently have. Uh, and here's this, I would say there is more to life, but not in the same way, we're not thinking in the same way. We experience more to life in different ways in different ways than you do and to us it seems more like you experience life just revolving around a belief and a book that's all it seems to but be to he us could also mean his version i think his version of it he thinks that there's an afterlife you think that's what he's trying to yeah to that's, say? What, that's what i'm trying to think of what he's saying correct me if i'm wrong ben weber if that's what you mean but um, but my thing, I think he's saying there's more to life, as in, like, there's a heaven and hell. I don't believe that. I don't believe they exist. And here's another thing, and this kind of goes back to the comments that we'll be showing them later, is you don't seem to get that heaven and hell threatening people with that in their afterlives. It doesn't work for everyone. It's... That's, that's, here's this, that's... For those who do believe in God, and you threaten them with heaven and hell, you're giving them a fear of a whip, which is not really... It sounds like a cult to me. Yeah, it's more culty. It doesn't get your message across. It, it just makes it sound worse, actually. And I've brought this up before. If you want your, your beliefs and stuff like that to come across better... Yeah. Is don't bring your religion into it. Like, the whole argument of how we brought all of this stuff up in the comments is don't bring your religion into this if you want to promote your beliefs no no no, no scratch no. everything i've said okay ignore me i'm kind of tired derek take over derek take over. i actually forgot what you were saying i i don't know derek well at this point the point is we're don't try to dictate what we what we believe. It's My, not your decision to do that. Yes, it's your duty to promote the word of God, but doesn't make us believe. Your job is to promote promote it, not force it. So you so I say to you, skeptic, seek the truth, expose darkness. We are kind of already doing that. We are exposing we expose people who don't give evidence. That's what we're seeking, because what we find is truth all the time. The truth in fucking real life, not in your book. But here's the thing. You keep assuming what you believe is the truth, but that's not necessarily the truth to us. It's what you think is the truth, and that's your opinion. Your opinion is, is that you believe it's the truth. Well, here's this. We don't necessarily seek truth. We seek fact. We don't... We seek evidence into things. Things that... That's it. Things that prove. Ex and when you say expose darkness, this also goes back to how he believes in, like, demons and stuff like that. No. Now, if you're talking about, like, real-life darkness, like, actual individ like e events in the world that are bad, you don't think we don't talk about those? We, we do. No. It's just this... talking about demons and stuff like that? No. No, this last line I'm not gonna fucking go on because it's what his it's what his followers go under. And I'm not gonna dictate what their followers are gonna say or say, whatever that means. And let's go to his channel. I'm gonna talk I'm, I'm, I, let's go to his channel real quick. Look, here's a okay, I have to pause that. And let's ask who are the Ju Jusuist and what is their agenda? What the Vatican is satanic? The, the message to atheists. These are the four videos he has on channel. Message from the mighty God Almighty. Please, please ignore watermark. That's what it says. Um, 
But this guy's a bit of a conspiracy theorist. So if you want us to like see more on his channel, just let us know. But we're gonna start working on the comments now. <laughs> yeah, now it's time for the fun part. Yeah. Now, comments. anyway, pull up his comments. Pull up his comments. It's on there. Oh yeah. So oh yeah, we can pull them up right here. So here we go. We found the comments he was talking about. Hold on, guys. Um, hold what on. What are you here. doing? Hold on here. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is Ben Weber's, like, he was commenting, and just to, so this is the, just not to sold them, if you want them to change, give them love, expose them, they don't need, expose them, but don't call them names like retarded and stuff. We didn't call them retarded, we did call them stupid, because they didn't want to accept what was in front of them. Now, here, here are the comments that he was giving. So, Don comment, he speaks to my wife like this. I know much about what's going on in the animal situation. Oh, I no, really that's, don't care anyway. That's what I was telling him. Why doesn't he criticize her for the animal situation that's going on? And he's only going after people because she's a religious person. And he's, quote unquote, defending religious people. Well, why don't you criticize her for what she's saying about animals? Because animals were created by God to you. So why don't you criticize her about that? You don't. You only go after the people who don't believe in God. Now, here's this. He says we're dark and twisted people. Now, here's this. And <laughs> you want to know why? You want to know why? He thinks that we're being exposed for it, too. That's the funny part. No, no. we're not, It's not exposure if we admit to it. And are open about it. We're not going to go into detail about it. No, no duh. That's our personal spot That's our there. personal life. Yeah, but and we just we just said things to get at some attention, and that was it. Yeah, That's... and we admitted it was kind of wrong to say all those things to tick off the dog hater girl I'll say and to get up. her attention to make a video, but it was very funny. Yeah, we do apologize <laughs> to think about dogs. We apologize to, like, well, I apologize to everyone else who had to read them. I don't really apologize to her. Here's this. We did it. We did it with with good intentions. Let's yes, that that's what we did it for. Now we're aware of what we were doing was completely inappropriate. But that was the point. That was the point, though. And uh, uh, let's see. I am here to witness someone expose someone pretty dark and twisted people. I don't care what you guys are arguing about. Why the fuck are you here? Why are you... Yeah, here's the thing. He's only here to defend her because religion. That's it. That's the only reason why he's defending her is because she's also Christian. Yeah, okay. Here's That's two, it. Here's two comments he says to Little Red Cherry. Well, if you guys are involved in satanic stuff and Wicca, yes. Um, Wicca's no. more Christian There is such a thing anything. as a good witch. There is no such thing as a good spell. There is no such thing as a good Satanist. What the fuck are you talking about? You do understand... He thinks Satanist as, like, how mo how media portrays it. And there are Satanists out there who are like that, but it depends on what branch. Just now, like... let's go... Just like with the branches of your religion, there's different branches of Satanism as well. There's different branches I wanna of go, religion. I want to go... I want to show him my version of Satan, the Church of Satan. Let's show him. It's a completely different version from what You're you were implying. Now, let's go to... I want to show you why we are different, because... Um, well, not we. You. I'm not... Yeah, that. sorry. Sorry about that. I so, just here, let's start with the nine me. satanic sins. Shall we? The nine satanic sins. Stupidity. See, the one thing I like about this is they're more into detail of what they're talking about. So oh, you want to extend the box? I can't do it while I'm recording. Oh, okay. shoot. <laughs> okay. So, I can just move the box. Um, okay, the top of the list of the satanic sins. The cardinal sin of Satanism is that bad... It is... It's too bad that stupidity isn't painful. Ignorance is one thing, but our society strives in increasingly on stupidity. It depends on people going along with whatever they're told. The media promotes culturally stupid and as a posture that is not acceptable and laudable. Satanists must learn to see through these tricks and cannot afford to be stupid. This is the kind of thing I kind of already did in my life. I didn't want to accept faith as fact. That's why I kind of went to Satanism. 
They want me to see things. Now, guys, in this next line, they're going to talk about lesser magic. Lesser magic is portraying as in speech, not actual magic. So, you know. It's kind of a play. It's a play Actually, on you should have showed him the rules, actually, first. Not the sins. The rules? Yeah. The satanic rules. Where are they? I can't remember. Not they're. rules. Um, What were they? The nine... The eleven satanic rules Yeah, the eleven... Order. Yeah. You should have shown him the rules first than anything. This is what we believe in. Are yeah, not we, not, give it not we, I did not mean to say we, he. Do not give an opinion he. or advice unless asked. Um, here's this, I may have gave my opinion here and there, or without permission, but I only did it for examples. Uh, do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. I don't do that. I don't try to put that on people. When another, in another's lair, they mean like their home, show them respect or else not... Do not get. Do Basically, not go show pe give people respect. Yeah. In their home. If a guest is in your lair annoying you, treat him cruelly without mercy. And what they mean by that is, don't like, just let them keep treating you with disrespect. It it sounds extremely harsh, but basically what they mean. It's, is if someone's being rude to you and they're in your home and they're being and they're a guest and everything, then you have all right to tell them, hey, no, you're in my house, you follow my rules, and you have no right to be doing these things or saying these things. Now, this is my favorite line. Do not make sexual advances unless given the mating signal, which is consent. Okay, do not take that which does not belong to you unless the burden of, unless it is a burden to the other uh, person and he cries out to be relieved. Meaning, don't take anything unless they want you to take it. Like, don't steal anything or get rid of something that someone's, unless it's going to help the person in the future. And they want that. Such as, like, say someone's a drug addict. And, you know, taking away their drugs and getting rid of them would help the person. Yeah. That's kind of what they mean. Yeah, okay, here's, yeah. No, here's number seven. Acknowledging the power of magic, if you have enjoy power of magic, if you employ the success as well to attain your, your um, what's that word? Desires, um, if you, you deny the power of magic having been called upon um, it, it with success, you will lose all all have obtained. Um, now I don't understand what it means by that. The power of magic. Uh, wait, oh wait! I remember when they speak magic that they use. They mean speaking. I'm guessing they're talking about using your words to attain things. Do not do not say if you deny the power of magic after having called upon its success, you will lose it. Meaning, uh, keep, I think. Okay, so let me interpret this as I as I see it. You if, say what you mean, and if you take it back, you're just going to lose all credibility. Yeah. So. Oh, and we should explain to him as well that the magic that they're talking about isn't like dark magic, like what he's thinking. No, it's, it's there, there's when something they, else. It's, it's kind of like karma, almost. Is no, basically no, 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 what no, no, no. It's not karma. No, it's, it's something like it. No, they're talking about speech when they speak of magic. When, like, see, lesser or greater magic is how well you talk to people, for example. Hmm, maybe I misinterpreted it. Uh, do not complain about anything to which you need to not subject yourself. Complain about anything you need not subject. Do not complain about anything you which you need to not subject yourself. So basically, don't try to put your burdens on people again. So, do not harm little children. That is another one. We do not believe in that. Do not kill a non-human animal unless you are attacked or for food. There's another example. Um, this is another thing that you seem to misinterpret. What if you think we're the goat sacrificing kind of... Satanist, we're not. Oh, well, I, me, and my wife's not Satanist, she's atheist. When walking on the open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not stop, destroy him. Now they mean, they don't mean actually destroy him. They mean, basically, Punish. give him, yeah, they basically give him what he deserves. Not necessarily destroy him. 
Now, um, now, now let's go to the nine satanic sins, which was what I was going to give. Uh, Pretitionist. Every posture can be not irritating if impl isn't implying the carnal rules of lesser magic, which is, as I again, speech. Um, which I actually I should define lesser magic for people who are watching who don't know what it means. Let's go uh, to another tab and and do that. Paste. Define. Okay. Very lesser magic. Notice it's a high and low magic. The collectively satanic magic. It's a system magic with system. Greater magic is a form of ritual practice and it is. Uh, Meant for a psychodramatic uh, kerosis or focus one's emotional energy or specific purpose. As I said, it's somewhere around species and emotions. Um, let's start greater magic Wikipedia. Let's try this. Let's show you guys. So, collect. Let's see. Um, magic is a form of ritual practice meant to both. Ah, we already read that. Magic practice manipulate. Practice of manipulation by means of applying psychology or glamour. Uh, while the guile, as it's called. And um, greater magic... What's, what does it say about greater magic? Uh, greater magic is a ritual practice of psychodramatic uh, paralysis, focusing on one's emotional energy. Okay, well, it's basically emotional and psychology. That's all it is. It's not actually like putting spells on you like you believe. Now, this, this guy hardcore believes that someone put a spell on him and sent demons to his house. Now, uh, so Olympism can be very dangerous for Satanists. Projecting your reactions or responses and sensibles onto someone who is probably fair less untuned than you are, um, which makes expecting people to give you some, dis uh, some consideration, courtesy, or respect that you are naturally give them. They don't. Instead, Satanists must strive to apply the dictum of do unto others as they do unto you. In fact, for most of us require constant vigilance le left to you sip in a comfortable illusion of everyone being like you. As have been said, certain utopias would be ideal in nations of philosophers. But unfortunately, people, unfo or, uh, or perhaps fortunately, from a much everyone's standpoint, we are far from that point. Being, don't put your belief on other people. That's basically what it's saying. That's basically kind of what we've been telling this guy is, don't force it on anyone. Self-deceit. So lying to yourself. It, in the nine satanic statements, but deserves to be repeated here, another cardinal sin. We must not pay homage to any of the sacred crows represented to us, including the roles we are expected to play of ourselves. The only time self-deceit should be entered into it is if it's fun and with awareness, but then it's not self-deceit. Meaning, don't lie to yourself unless it's for fun and you're aware of it, basically. Herd uh, conformity. This is basically following people. Don't be a follower, which is kind of kind of contradicting itself, being Satanism. But hey, um, that's uh, that obvious from Satanist stance. It's well, right to don't really follow anyone. They just kind of they just agree mostly. Uh, it's all right to conform with a person's wishes. It is unfortunately benefits you, but only fools follow go going in the herd. Letting in an impersonal entity dictates to you. The key is to choose a master wise system and being enslaved by the whims of the many. So basically, just don't be a follower. Just be your own person. Okay, lack of perspective. Again, you can lead. One one can lead, lead to a lot of pain for a Satanist. You may never lose sight of. Who and what you are, and what threat you can ha be by your existence. We are making history right now, every day. Always keep your wider historical social picture in mind. That is an important key to both lesser and greater magic, as we already explained what that is. See uh, the pattern um, and fit things together as you. Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me for stuttering. Things together 
as you want all the pieces to fall on the plate. Do not be swayed by herd constraints. Know that you are working on another level entirely from the rest of your of the world. Now here's this. I'll be honest. This guy's kind of following under this concept that he's not following what other people do. He's kind of his own world, isn't he? Yeah. What are you doing over there? I'm laying down because my dad was hurting so bad. Uh, forgiveness. Do, I'm pregnant. I can do what I want. Okay. This one says forgiveness packs orthodoxies. Beware of one who the key of brainwashing key to brainwash people to accepting something new and different, and then you're in reality it's something that you always widely accept, but now presented in a new package. We are expected to rave about the genius of our of the creator and forget it, it the original. This makes the disposable makes for a disposable society, meaning don't give in to what people tell you, even if it sounds believable. You have to get evidence, basically. Cur counterproductive pride. Okay, this is number eight, guys. The first word it is important. Pride is gr eight up to the point it, you be you thrown up out the baby with with the in the bathwater. The rule of Satanism is, is if it works for you, great. But if it stops working for you, then you painted yourself in a corner, and the only way out is to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Which I could comprise somehow. Wish I could com compromise somehow, then do it. Lack the uh, aesthetics. Lack of aesthetics. Now, this is the last one. This is a physical application of balance factor. Um. Aesthetics is important in lesser magic and should be cultivated. And it is obvious that no one can collect any money of classical standards of beauty or form most of the time so that they are discouraged in all consumer standards of wait, consumer society but the eye of beauty and balance. In the essential satanic tool, most of us are applied for a great aidus magical effectiveness. It's not the mo what's supposed to be pleasing, it's what is. Aesthetics, aesthetics is a personal thing. It reflects on one's own nature. But there is a universal pleasing and harmonious configurations that should not be denied. So, go back to, not that, not his channel, to the comments. You don't understand what Satanism actually is. We, d we don't necessarily take things at face value. In fact, if you notice that they don't really mention Satan about worship being Satan at all. They say don't take things to your... See, not all Satanists believe in Satan and not all Satanists believe in God. So you can see your little lack of knowledge there. You gonna be coming back over here? I will. Okay. So... So, uh... Okay, no yeah. such, there is no such thing as a good Satanist. But what am I? I can think myself You've good. never really done anything that's truly horrendous. No. Ever. Now here's this. In my past, and this is when I was a Christian. This is when I was a Christian. I was a thief. And... I pickpocketed people. I will admit that right now. I don't do that anymore because I know that is wrong. I see that as wrong and I don't want to do it again. I have changed... And this was all when I was a Christian, but then I moved on and realized I don't I don't think there is a God because I don't think He would let this world move on the way it is, and I don't think these religious, all these people who are trying to force it on me, just seem kind of cultish. That's what it felt like to me. Now let's find another one of his comments. He speaks to my wife. Basically, it's almost like you became a better person when you forgot about, like, just left all of that yeah. behind. Yeah, and here's this. She has to my wife, to be honest, someone from um, your group has performing satanic spells on my name. I know this because I come from God. I am lucky for, I'm a lucky person who can peek and seek in the spiritual realm. Last night, I saw demons in my room. Um, I can be sure to tell you that they came from what, from you weak human beings. Good luck. Satanism is the lowest form of humanity. Wishing pain on others, no, nice spell. They, sur they scurried away when I called upon my lord. Wow. 
He actually literally thinks that we put a spell on him when magic doesn't exist. It's... It's very strange. And then, me, I don't really think this way, the same way as he does. I try to take a more reasonable term and think of it as more in a scientific way and in a mental aspect and things like that. And he kind of just did this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not going to understand what he was talking about with this. I don't even want to know what was happening. And let's see, there's some more replies. Okay. Oh, actually, I did point out a few flaws of hers, so good luck with that claim. What did you point out? You didn't say anything. The only thing you told her, really, is to not call people names. That's all you told her. What we're talking about is criticizing her about her views on how animals should be treated. Now, here's what he respect, re directed towards my wife again. I'm just saying that if you in an, or a group, it would be a similar one, so unfortunately, ultimately, you could say they come from the same side of battle. I would ho hope you I hope you become saved. I know that you don't believe in all, but if you see if you see a demon personally and watch it crawl under a wall, and one beside your bed, and snake slithers into your eye, you're going to be wishing you had God on your side. But here's some... I got here randomly. I didn't get sent in here by someone. It was all God's will to defend a believer of Christ. And someone that's had... all he's doing. He's only defending her because... She just so happens to be religious as well, and that's the only reason why he's defending her. Someone had no bad... And no one said that you came out of nowhere. It, it really didn't even need to be brought up. You just so happened to be here. It, this is one of those situations. You're not the first random Christian and with this random crap came to us. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. So... Yeah, here's this though, we don't really believe in demons, so no. <laughs> okay, let's bring up the whole sa saving thing. Saving We've thing? literally brought this up to him numerous times. He believes that we need to be saved because he thinks that we're, we have an awful life in his eyes. He keeps thinking that we're bad people, that we're the scum of the earth, and that the things that we believe in and the lifestyle we live you get the life? is is bad, and that's what we need saving from. But what he seems to under, not understand every time that I try to explain this to him, we do not need to be saved if we do not feel like we need to be saved, and there's nothing that we need to be saved from. Yeah, so... We're, we're living our lives how we see fit, and we're trying to live... Are the best lives we can. It's uh, He says, it's most likely the person who doesn't say much. It's them. The person who stands on the side, barely getting gets involved. They're the ones c calling Lucifer to harm me with his minions. I guarantee it. I believe you're fucking delusional. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone is out there taking the time of day just to spite one person. Here's another comment, he says, The Holy Spirit sent in me with a double-edged sword in your direction. My Lord told me to use righteous judgment. That's not your... You didn't even know I existed till the till day. you came here. And two... So your Lord couldn't have sent you to do anything if you didn't even know who I was. You know, you know the number... You know, this reminds me about the how many times people have killed in the name of God. Yeah. God damn. Uh, do not bring up uh, uh, the scripture... For, Please, you do, don't, don't think we need to be saved, but all you, you... How sad that statement is, because you do. Everyone does. Why? We don't need to be saved if there's nothing to save us from. Under your logic... And I never brought up any scripture. I was just using an example of your logic. Here's this. That's it. Under your logic, anyone who's downright, downright Christian like you are doesn't need to be saved, because they are already saved at that logic. So not everyone needs to be saved, so your logic is invalid there. And two, it's only for people who commit sins. 
Yeah. Well, quote unquote sins, what they believe is sins. Yeah, even in the Such Bible. Such as what he's going us after for, I quote believe... unquote, lust. That's what he's going after us about. I think he's going A around... married couple. Yeah. Who we... only want to be with each other. Yes, we have. And love each other. In fact, we've never even had sex with anybody else but each other. We lost our virginities to each other. We've only had eyes for one another, and that's pretty much it. Yet you think we're being... lustuous? Well, we're in love. And it's not necessarily that we only lust towards each other. I mean, lust is there. But it's more love, more love for each other. We love each other. Lust. We're in love with each other. Lust is always going to be a thing, no matter what. So you need lust to... is like only a small portion of what our relationship is. Our relationship is mostly love. Also, another thing: this guy literally thinks that all me and him seem to think about and do is think of sexual things and do sexual things. He doesn't seem to get that, no, we literally have other things in our lives that we love to do other than that. <laughs> yes, we gotta think of other things, such as our child, we gotta think of our, um, we gotta think about our job. You're passionate about doing things such as YouTube, your art, YouTube, playing video games, because you love strategy. Yeah. You love things like that, and then I love focusing on my art and my crafts and things like that. Yeah. The the lust part of our relationship makes up only a portion of it. Yeah, so anyway, um, you don't think you need to be saved, blah, blah, blah. Okay, because that, because you do everyone, but how sad that statement is, because you do everyone does, or, or you can uh, enjoy your life of sin and sexual indulgence. Okay, he said, we already stated what we are saying, and pay, a, and pay for it in the end. Okay, here's this. I will accept punishment. Isn't if it your happens. God okay with two people who are in love being together and doing things together? Uh, am I wrong? I mean, he's not for like adultery, like cheating on the partner and stuff like that. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're only in love with each other. Yeah. And in that way, in a sexual way. Yeah, your choice, become a good person or pay for it. We We are good people. That's like, what you Name don't one see thing that we've done wrong. Besides the manipulating her, which we already we admit to admitted wrong. that was wrong. And we admit that what we were saying and stuff was kind of inappropriate. inappropriate. Now here's this. But yeah. you're just judging us based off of our beliefs, and that's it. You think that we're bad people just because of our beliefs, yet you, you do not know anything about what we do or in our day-to-day -day lives. I regularly donate to charities. We both do. You have no idea what we do. We also we also try to help out friends and family anytime we can. Yeah. Yet we're bad people just because we don't have the same beliefs as you. I bet this guy would feel very bad if we were... Yeah, I wonder how he'd feel that we're bisexual. He probably hates that, too. But we'll, we'll find out if he ever responds. It's... You're judging us just because of what we believe. Now, okay. Uh, he says, I suffer no mental illness. I do not have hallucinations. I am completely healthy male. I am a prophet of, the, of my savior. I have a seal of the prophet on my forehead. Uh, and the seal of the prophet in my eye. Um, Out of the hundreds of people in this world... What makes you think your god looked at you and was like, yeah, you're the special one? Uh, Out of everyone else who it could have been, what, what makes you special? That's what I gotta say about that. Okay. Here's this. I see things that would make you shed your skin faster than a snake. Uh, oh my god. Well, I'm pretty sure you are seeing things that are really bad, but I don't think it's anything spiritual. I think you need to actually at least see a professional. And if they somehow believe that you're telling the truth, then seek another explanation. But you're not even thinking of that as an explanation. 
As many people do, they say I have some mental illness, but little do they know I have seen the face of death. But you just won't know if you have a mental illness. Yeah, you really don't know. Why is my thing keep glitching upward? Okay. Okay, there's more replies. Let's go show more. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's another one. I have had sleep paralysis years ago. All I am aware of the spiritual world. Perhaps you should educate yourself on it. Now, I'm not going to go on to this one. Um, I know oh, this... Oh, the spiritual world, I don't, I don't believe even it, but I know what it is. Wait, what? You're kind of contradicting what you're, yourself No, is. I know what he means by what is the spiritual world. You know what I mean? Says, I know what it is. But he says, I don't believe in it. That's me! Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. That's what I was trying to say! Oh, I, got... I explained this to you earlier! I was like, no, Derek, that's me! Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I got messed, I got confused. Um... <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's one. You know who invented schizophrenia, right? Yes, it was invented. It was an invented term. Ju yes, all terms. Terms are invented. Yes. Yeah, this is the guy right now. This is where, when earlier when I brought up the whole Sk Nazi CIA thing. It's just a blanket term. One name. Oh, hold on. Let me go. It's not a blanket term. It literally means one thing. And you want to know what that one thing is? Too much dopamine in the brain. That's literally what schizophrenia is, is too much dopamine in the brain. It's not a blanket term if it just means that. Yeah. Let's see. It's a blanket term. One covered up, up with with some list of things. A German Nazi scientist created the term schizo, you know. I'd like to know who did find what schizo is, who diagnosed what schizo is, or no, the quote-unquote founder of it, because I highly doubt it was a Nazi. Well, what if it was a Nazi? Well, if it was a Nazi, I'd like to see an article, and I asked him for one, and he didn't send me one. And here's this, though. But here's this. If it was created by a Nazi, and it's still considered today, that was probably a fucking credible source. I mean, it, you make it sound like bad people in the world couldn't have found now, things I'd like to know, that help no, people. This next line, he says, The Nazi that has uh, also made the CIA? He thinks Nazis... Are basically head of the CIA, and all CIA agent people are Nazis. It makes, makes no sense because they're different people of different colors and religions in the CIA. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't even think he understands what a Nazi is. Uh huh. They call it whatever they want, but in your mother, but in your mother's expense, she most likely has a real world experience. Or even a different illness. She does that. have another illness. It's called bipolar disorder, but. Her schizophrenia is real, and she will tell you that. And she, and she believes we don't she is think, crazy. We don't think... The world doesn't think she's crazy or anything like that. The world thinks she has a mental, a mental issue. And the issue is unbalanced brain chemistry. That's it. No, she's the world not... doesn't think she's a bad person. No, now, probably if she wasn't on her medication, people would think she's crazy, but... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they probably she, would, but it's not but she that. She takes world, meds to be normal. Yeah. They don't think of my mom as crazy. They think what everyone else logically thinks. She's suffering from something, and it's not in her control, and it's because her brain does not have balanced brain chemistry. Her brain produces too much dopamine. Yeah. And that's what's causing the schizophrenia. Now, my eyes do not um, lie. I would, um, eyes can always play tricks on you. What the fuck are you talking about? Eyes play tricks and on you. And when he time. says this, I think back to when he had said he had, he's experienced sleep paralysis before. Well, then your eyes have literally tri had played tricks on you. I will not argue with, on this anymore, as many people in the la spiritual realm to fly right over the, their head. Don't worry, one day you'll be ready to see the outcome of Satanism. Again, you don't know what Satanism is. Conspiracy well, theorists... Know. There are what? certain branches that do fall into the category of what he says. He thinks it is. He just said this directly. Conspiracy theorists are also coined by the CIA. I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. Okay, oh, he says I'm done arguing about this, but he continues. Yeah, I know. Oh, he edited this one. Um, CIA document, um, what? Uh... 
960 played a definition role of making the conspiracy theory term a weapon to be wielded against most in any any individual or group calling government increasingly and stealing programs. A conspiracy theory does not only involve government. Do you know what conspiracy theory it is? It just means theory. Yeah. Of anything, not just government. <laughs> it can be a theory of anything. It can be a conspiracy that all all makeup is made by the same people or something. There is even it's not just government. <laughs> There's even counter conspiracy theories. Let's say a guy says, I don't believe in the moon landing. And I can go, you believe in the moon? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's things like that. It's not only government things. It's it, it can mean multiple things. It's not just government. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Okay, let's see. Um, this is more directly towards this. Uh, there's much more sooner than the truth. The happier you will be. I don't want to give a shit about that. You think I'm insane? Watch at least five minutes of this video. I guarantee you'll think insane afterwards. Um, showing a video clip. Let's actually look at this video. I'm kind of curious of what he's talking about now. <laughs> now here's this. I'm actually going to watch Whoa. this. <laughs> yes. Okay, fine. This video is getting long, by the way. I don't fucking give a shit. More watch time on me. An astonishing admission Hold by on, the I'm Roman Catholic pause. Church. Catholic Intelligence Agency? Catholics in action. Is the CIA truly American? For decades, Jesuit affiliates of the Roman Catholic Church have directed the CIA. Leon Panetta and John Brennan, the current director, are Jesuit trained. Are Jesuits today the same as Jesuits of the past? Are you familiar with the Jesuit oath? Its devious plans to control the wealth of the nations, enslave the masses, and depopulate the world? Pope Francis is a Jesuit. Should we be alarmed that the institution the Pope heads also controls the CIA? Is a Jesuit? The CIA's mission is to identify and destroy Why is terrorists everything and religion? fundamentalists. Pope Francis likewise, and defines them as those who believe in absolute truth, end-time prophecies of Daniel and the Revelation, refuse to yield their liberty of conscience and give up constitutional this rights. This literally isn't proving The insidious anything, agenda though. of the Jesuits will soon be realized, as Pope Francis has been hailed Lord of the World and Savior of the Earth. I've never heard what of that. What does CIA stand for? The Central Intelligent Agency. That is correct. That is what the CIA stands for. Now, do you know what the primary job of the CIA is? Um, I think their primary job would be similar to the police force, but more the central, the head of the law enforcement. Now, Marianne, what is the primary job of the CIA? I believe it has to do with uh, foreign intelligence. The CIA uh, is the foreign spying agency for America. That is also correct. Now, they collect, analyze, evaluate, and disseminate foreign intelligence in order to help make decisions in related, that relate to national security. So you're right. Okay, so, Jerome, can pause. you guess what religious group right has there predominant? It doesn't have to do with religion. Why is it a bad thing? Uh, I don't really know. Actually, I'm going to stop this right here because this is already... It, it proves nothing. Yeah. I, that's what I even told the guy. This video proves nothing to me other than you're insane. Now, let's go back to the comments. So, I have it's not that one. Oh my god, just shut her up. <laughs> you need to um, put it on newest first in order to find it. Because for some reason it's... It doesn't like to show up, and you're not listening to me. I'm going to try to find it without you're it. You're not going to. I told you. Could have passed it up. It's what? one of the glitches that YouTube's been going through. I even tried to explain it to this guy that YouTube is glitching really bad. Yeah. Ever since they did that thing, and then the... YouTube crashed for two hours. It hasn't been the same. Yeah, because YouTube is breaking and they forgot that Google Plus is so in time with it, it's just going to break it if you get rid of it. Oh, oh. We're getting close now. 
All right. Yep. Yeah, we're back to it. Okay. So he said. Oh, so let's go to the next one. He sends another link. Yeah, just one billing conspiracy theory. Ha, billing. Ha, wake this up, This is White big. House. He tried to make it. Oh. He says, big, big some conspiracy theory. Ha ha, wake up, why don't you? We are in a divine realm. God is real. Okay, now you're just sounding more and more desperate. Yes, that's what... <laughs> and I said, no, it's real to you, but that doesn't mean it's proof. Yeah, let's... He uh... believes it's real. Oh yeah, you go, I, look, I like how you can see my link right there. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Well, that's pretty much it. What yeah. has to do with this guy? Yeah, let's. Uh, I think that's all we have to say for this video. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to hope to see you guys in the next. Catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye bye.